I was invited by my sponsor Fan Home to Italy to drift in some 350Zs. They are celebrating the 1 to 43 scale Fast and Furious collection. More about that later. Let's see how I got on. Agostini and Fan Home for the Fast and Furious Drift Experience Day in some 350Zs. We've had some Italian instruction as to how to do donuts, figure of eight, etc. in Italian, so obviously I didn't pick up a word of it. We got bikes as well, they're quite loud. We're gonna just have some fun in some 350Zs, as you can see. And don't you worry, we are fully insured today. So before we were allowed to go out and drive the cars, we had to be passengers in the car. So both Chloe and I hopped into the passenger seat of the professional drifters from Italy to be shown how to do just a simple donut or 180. Check out the exhaust setup on these 350s. It's where the number plate should be. We've also got R35 style front ends and I think that one's got an R35 spoiler just with some extended struts. Are they going to crash into each other? There she goes. Oh no, that's understeer. Oh no, they've just let Chloe get into the driver's seat. She's having a go. Yes, yeah, so after just a few short laps in the passenger seat, they entrusted Chloe to hop into the driver's seat of the 350Z. There she goes. She's sideways. She's spun it. She has driven my 350Z before, but not sideways like that. Yay! No! Pirouette! And send it! Yes! No! Well done, Chloe. The point of this first session was to just do a 180 in the 350Z. The instructors don't know that I have one as a daily, so it was my turn next just to do a 180, then stop. We're not yet doing full laps or donuts or figure of eights or even hydraulic handbrake usage. <laughs> Good start, Adam. She already hates you for slamming her door. Okay. Okay. So I got the basics of the 180. Time to improve, impress the instructor, and move on to even more. With each 180, I was getting more and more comfortable with the 350Z handling. Another? Another. Another. Good, very good. Thank you. You do drifting? No. No, no, it's the first time. Uh, So Eleanor had found out the truth that I have a 350Z as my daily car and was getting more and more impressed at my drifting so turned herself to improving my technique. More angle, more angle. Clockwise drifting done, and I'm not saying that us British practice on roundabouts and that we should be better at clockwise drifting than anti-clockwise, but I am. So I was looking forward to going the correct way. Large, large, large,
it was that spin that saw the end of my first time behind the seat. Time to get out of the car and await the next round of driver training. Massa Ricardo. <laughs> I have been told that I was a cheat because I've already, I, I own one, I daily one. <laughs> so I completed the first part of the drift day. Now the second part involved a hydraulic handbrake and we didn't need an instructor for this part. So I hopped into a different 350Z with Chloe and take this into consideration. I have never even touched a hydraulic handbrake in the past. Now I said earlier that I'd go through with you a bit more about why we were here. Let's have a quick look at the 143s before I do some spinning and, and action. So these are part of a monthly subscription. With every month you get new models. I've already tried to get into this box. This was the first part of my subscription. I also acquired this during the trip. More about that later. You got the Supra, R34 GTR, Mustang, that's my most recent one, Ford Escort RS 1600, Dodge Charger, Daytona. So I'm looking forward to building the collection. So thanks to Fan Home for partnering with me to create this video. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Right, we're in a different car. This one's left hand drive. We're meant to do a handbrake turn. My hand's on the wrong side now. <laughs> So attempt one successful, let's try and scare Chloe some more. into the easier car and is going to try a hydraulic handbrake entry into the corner. I never thought I'd say those words. Okay, here she goes. First gear, second gear. When's the handbrake going to be pulled? And go. Yay! And around she goes. So that was the end of that and training was finished. Or was it? Myself and a good friend, Horsepower Hunters, who was also on the trip with Fan Home, decided to steal one of the cars whilst the instructors weren't looking, because we saw them doing things that we thought we could do. Right, we're now going to try a figure of eight. Mr. Horsepower Hunters is having a go. The pressure is now on. My transition is done. We're now going to crash into the person. Now it's time for my go, we're going to get close to film from the outside and then Tom's going to film horizontally, no, vertically, oh dear. Well, this one handles differently. First time lucky! <laughs> it's good. I wonder if you know how they do in Tokyo, because apparently I do.
attempting and achieving a figure of eight drift. But after a day of drifting and being better than I thought I would be, although I had the upper hand because I daily a 350Z, we are at some cars. We're going to examine them. First of all, the 350. This 350Z is powered by Maserati. Or should be. Wow, look at the exhausts! That is insane! But from Fan Home, that was pretty much that from our day with the 350Zs finishing at the R34 GTR. Let me know in the comments what you think this is. I think it's genuine. I've got no reason to believe it's not. So I hope you enjoy that video from the Fast and Furious Day. So go follow me on all my social channels for the updates, highlights, and pictures that I take at things like this and more in Italy and beyond. But for now, thanks for watching.